Okay, so I want to spend a little bit of time helping you with the spinning sign project robot C. And I want to mention as well that since I won't be here tomorrow, which will, you're watching it today, um, if you have issues and it's not running and it looks the same as my code, don't worry. We'll work on it on Wednesday when we're back in class together. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Robot C for Vex Robotics 4.0. Double click on it. Now I'm opening this up earlier. You should come to a page that looks like this. You're going to go to File, Open, and Compile. And you should go into your Robot C folder that you made on your drive. Click on the one that says Spinning Sign. And you've got a nice template going. The first thing I want you to do is grab your build and go to Motor and Sensor Setup. And for the digital sensors, all the limit switch, the bump switch, and the LEDs, if you choose to use them, you don't have to do LEDs, are all going to be on the digital sensor page right here. So let's say I have a bump switch, which is a touch, a limit switch, which is a touch, and a VEX LED, which is a VEX LED. So I'm going to name the first one bump. Press in one. Number two is going to have limit. Let's say I'm, and as I'm doing this, I'm making sure that it corresponds with my actual build. So make sure you're putting the wire into the actual spot. Okay? And then LED is my, or I'm going to name them all limit one, LED one, and bump one, just because sometimes they don't like whenever it's just the name, the generic name. Go to motors, and I'm going to set up. I have a motor in port 1, it's a 269 motor, I'm going to name it motor 1. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it and say OK, and at that point it should be all done for you. So I've got three digital sensors and one motor. So the way I want it set up is that, first of all, you can do this if you like, it's not 100% necessary, but if you go into control st structures and in natural language in there, it has it where you can do repeat forever. And I think that you would like this a lot. So I put that below task main and dumped it in there. And then make sure you're going within the two curly Q brackets. And you're, everything you're doing is inside the body. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And then I'm going to start writing my code. The reason I do that is that if you've noticed, whenever you download it to the robot and you run your code, it just goes that one time. If you add this repeat forever, it knows to go ahead and go back to the front front of the code. So every time you push the button, it'll run the code, just like it was the first time. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this up just so I'm not confused. If you don't see natural language here, remember robot platform type, make sure natural language PLTW is done, and make sure your Communication mode is USB only. That's just for our USB, uh, orange USB cords. So the first thing I'm going to go is go into natural language and then until. So I want it to run full force when I, when I touch the bump. And then I want it to turn off when I do the touch, which is the limit switch. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the until the bump, which is bump one. And I'm going to make it, it's be on this, I'm going to make it delay like 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. And whenever I touch it, or when I hit the bump right here, I'm going to make the motor start. I'm going to drag it underneath until bump. The motor port is called motor 1, which I've named. And then the speed, if you hover over that, you can see the range. And I want it to go full force. That's the reason we made those compound gear systems so we can slow it down, so we can read the sign. And I'm going to hit 127, so it's full going, going as fast as it can go. And I'm going to have it go. At that point, it's just going to go. Um, then, let's see. I'm going to add the until touch below and then it's just going to let go indefinitely until I touch the limit one. Okay. 
And so that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty basic. It should work. And at that point, I'm going to do compile program. I make sure that my um, Cortex is plugged in. I don't have my Cortex plugged in at this point. But if I did, it would pop up. And then I would download it to the robot, turn on your Cortex, and then it should work. If it doesn't, we'll work on that on Wednesday. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. And I will see you soon. I know you guys are having a good day.